So Terrence Crawford, boxing pound for pound number one, gave his reaction to Virgil Ortiz knocking out Mean Machine in the eighth round by stating, told you all he can punch. Reacting to Virgil Ortiz getting hurt and dropped by Kavalaskis in the second round. As the fight continued, Terrence Crawford stated backing up with them hands down. He tired. Shortly after, Virgil Ortiz stopped Kavalaskis in the eighth round. That's when Terrence Crawford tweeted, they love throwing my name around. I love y'all too. Congratulations on the win at Virgil Ortiz. A few moments later, Terrence Crawford trainer, Bo Mack, he texts Tom Grisham on air, tell everybody Terrence Crawford will knock out Virgil Ortiz. A few hours later, Virgil Ortiz responded to Terrence Crawford by stating, quote, hey, I don't ask the questions. I'm just answering. You know how it goes. Thanks though. End of the quote. Now I'm just seeing Virgil Ortiz response for the first time. And it's surprising to hear Virgil Ortiz tell Terrence Crawford, I didn't mention your name. They asked me about you. That's why I called you out. Because I was expecting Virgil Ortiz to double down on the call out by telling Crawford, I see you next. Instead, he told Crawford, I wasn't the one asking the questions about you. They asked me the question. See Crawford, he was talking about the zone mentioning his name all night. He wasn't really talking about Virgil Ortiz. He only congratulated Virgil Ortiz. But these fans swear up and down that Crawford is ducking Virgil Ortiz. Just like they swore up and down that Crawford was ducking Benavidez, Sean Porter, Postal, Flex Diaz, so on and so forth. Once Crawford fought them and beat them, some way, somehow, magically, the next day they automatically became a nobody. Therefore, the million dollar question, when Crawford fights Virgil Ortiz, are you guys going to give him his credit then? Or is it the same old same old? Season 10 of you ducking him, but once you fight him and beat him, then he was a nobody. That's been the story of Terrence Crawford's entire career. With the facts being laid out, we all know Virgil Ortiz is in a perfect position to fight Terrence Crawford after Sean Porter because he's the international WBO champion. So he's the next mandatory after Sean Porter, which means if Virgil really wanted with Bud, he can get it. The only thing he has to call out Crawford directly, just like when Composis called out Teofimo Lopez as his mandatory, that was a direct call out. Just like when Devin called out Lomachenko, he called him Nomachenko. Just like when Charlo called out Canelo Alvarez as his mandatory. But when it was Virgil Ortiz's turn, it was the best setup. You couldn't write a better script. Virgil had Terrence Crawford in the arena, pointing his finger toward him. Virgil Ortiz dropped the ball by stating, I don't care if I'm ready or not. Nah. I don't duck anybody. I will fight Terrence Crawford if the fight is presented. However, how you expect the fight to be presented when you say, I don't care if I'm ready or not. Nah. Obviously, your team is not even going to have the confidence to make the fight at that point. That sounds like Canelo Alvarez 2.0. I was born ready. But we all know when Canelo said it, he meant, I was born ready to make excuses once I lose to my grandpa, Floyd Mayweather. So again, when you say, I don't know if I'm ready, I don't care if I'm ready or not, that's not the proper way to call out a fighter you really want to fight. At that point, your own team going to feel like they setting you up if they do make the fight because you're not even ready. You think Floyd Mayweather, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson will say anything like that, calling anybody out, even Jerron Ennis. He will never say anything like that. Uh, I, if they give me that opportunity, I'm looking at you, bud. I'm looking at you. If you want to make this fight happen, I'm more than willing to do it. Do you believe at 22 years old, you're ready for a Terrence Crawford? I don't care if I'm ready or not. I want that fight. Congratulations, Virgil. Which is my point exactly. Crawford is telling him, I'm going to stop you. Meanwhile, Virgil is saying, I don't care if I'm ready or not. That's why Terrence Crawford came out and said, I don't think Virgil Ortiz want the fight. I don't think he want to fight me because he didn't sound confident like he wants to fight. See, this is what makes Terrence Crawford Boxing, pound for pound number one, hands down. He don't turn down any fades. He's not a European assassin. 
Cough, cough. Canelo Alvarez. Terrence Crawford is a world assassin. You will never see Crawford vacate his belt because he have a tough mandatory like Canelo did with Charlo. Nope, it's the contrary. Crawford is a real champion. You see him gunning after Sean Porter. And now welcome in the smoke with the Canelo Alvarez of his division, Virgil Ortiz. You don't see Crawford flexing his A-side status, acting like a diva. Instead, he's the one looking forward to the fight more than the challenger, Virgil Ortiz. You will never see Canelo pull up to somebody yard and accept the challenge the way Terrence Crawford did with Virgil Ortiz. You guys see the zone mentioning Crawford's name all day, all night, because he's top five most popular in boxing today. And the zone know this because they are previewed to all of the statistics in the sport of boxing. However, let Bob Arum tell it. The biggest star on his roster, Terrence Crawford, some way, somehow, he's losing money on. The fighter that's carrying the whole shit. That's why Terrence Crawford would be a fool to even think about signing with top rank again for diminishing his character, lying on his name, and to make matter worse, even being underpaid. Terrence Crawford needs to know if the zone paid Mikey Garcia coming off a loss seven million dollars to do a one-off fighting jesse vargas when neither one of them was a champion the zone pays gennady golovkin 15 to 20 million to cherry pick bumps fights that no one watch then crawford can expect to make 15 to 20 million at the very least to fight a guy like virgil ortiz who's 18 and 0 with 18 ko's meanwhile bob aram is crying about the four million He's lowballing Terrence Crawford. Then he has the audacity to try to set up a fight between Crawford and Josh Taylor next year. Really? Like he didn't have Crawford sit on the bench this whole year? The biggest star on his roster. He had him sit on the bench this entire year. I mean, the audacity. So the best way to go about it for Crawford is go ahead and fight Porter. Take it to purse bed then fight Virgil Ortiz on the zone doing a one-off, which that will make Crawford a household name as much as Errol Spence. Then if Errol doesn't get the Pacquiao fight anymore, guess what? Then the fight is a 50-50 fight. But if Crawford goes the Josh Taylor route, that's a good name, but not a big fight. Virgil Ortiz is a big name and a big fight. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace. I'm on to the next one.